regression versus classification problems. Understanding the differences between these two is crucial for choosing the right approach, especially when working with neural networks. So, what is a regression problem? In a regression problem, the goal is to predict one or more continuous output values. Depending on the data, the output can be a real number, that is a floating point number, or a set of real numbers. Let us discuss some examples of regression problems. Let us say that we are trying to predict house prices, given features like house size, number of bedrooms, and location. This is a regression problem because we predict the house price, which is a continuous value. Weather forecasting is another example of a regression problem, predicting future temperature, humidity, and wind speed based on historical data can be considered a regression problem. Stock price prediction using past performance or market status is also known as a regression problem, given that stock prices are continuous values or floating point numbers. Remember, in an earlier lesson, we designed a neural network using Python PyTorch to predict pecan production based on the amount of water, fertilizer, and soil salinity level on the land. It was a regression problem given that pecan production is a real number with continuous values. In regression problems, the target variable can be just one output or multiple outputs. So when we try to predict house price, we are predicting just one single output. In some cases, regression problems may involve predicting multiple real valued outputs at once. For example, predicting multiple weather conditions like temperature, humidity, and wind speed simultaneously. In both cases, the outputs are continuous values that could take any real number. Now, what is a classification problem? A classification problem involves predicting a categorical output. Instead of predicting a continuous value, the model must assign each input to one of several discrete categories or classes. Let us discuss some examples of classification problems. One well-known classification problem is an email spam detection system. Given an email's content, the model predicts whether it is a spam or not a spam. A classification problem involving two classes or two categories is called binary classification. So a spam detection system is a binary classification system. Image recognition is another example of a classification problem. Classifying images into categories like cat, dog, or birds is known as a multi-class classification problem. A classification problem is called a multi-class classification problem when the prediction can result in more than two classes. What does the output or the prediction in classification look like? Well, as we just discussed in binary classification, there are two possible outcomes, such as yes or no, or in another dataset it can be true or false, that is the prediction always results in one of two class levels. In multi-class classification, there are multiple categories as said before. For example, classifying an image as either cat, dog, or bird. The main idea is, in classification problems, the output is a category level, not a continuous value. So, how do regression and classification relate to neural networks? Neural networks are flexible models that can be used for both regression and classification tasks. The structure of the network and the choice of activation functions, loss functions, and output layers depend on the type of problem you are solving. In neural networks for regression, the model can have either a single output or multiple outputs depending on whether you are predicting one or multiple values. Each output neuron represents a real valued prediction. Typically, no activation function is applied in the output layer, allowing the network to predict any real number in regression problems. The loss function is often mean squared error or mean absolute error, which measures the difference between the predicted and actual values. 
The neural networks for classification problems are slightly different. In a classification task, the output layer contains one neuron per class in multi-class classification. So if you have three options like cat, dog, and bird, then the output layer will have three neurons. If you have a binary classification, you can use just one neuron in the output layer. The output layer typically uses the softmax function for multi-class classification or sigmoid function for binary classification to convert the raw classification logits into probabilities. The loss function used in classification problems is typically cross-entropy loss, which measures how well the predicted probabilities match with the true class level. Now, how do you choose between regression and classification? If your goal is to predict one or more continuous values such as price, temperature, or multiple real valued outputs, then you are dealing with a regression problem. If your goal is to predict a category or label such as spam or not spam, cat or dog or bird, then you are dealing with a classification problem. Neural networks can handle both types of problems, but the structure and design of the network vary based on whether you are solving a regression or classification problem. I already explained the neural network coding for a regression problem using PyTorch in an earlier lesson. Now we will discuss the neural